Brojeva Revarura Ninu Vina Raghuvara Nanu Brojeva Revarura G. N. Balasubramanyam was my first musical hero. This was the song that I heard first in a recording. And I asked my dad, who is this? Thiriyada is not GNB. You know, the way they spoke about GNB in our house, it was like, you know, Bradman Thirima, 99.94 test average. Gary Sobers Thirima, greatest all-rounder cricket has seen. And the Mari, GN Balasubramanyam Thirima, greatest Carnatic musician. This was the reputation he enjoyed in our house. When I was very young, I used to go to Calcutta for holidays. And I used to see my youngest Chitapa, Ramesh, he was he used to be lying down in the corner on one room and he would have a tape recorder near his ear and he would be listening to Carnatic music. So I'll go and ask him, Yara Gegara, JNB. He will just dismiss me immediately. But I would always keep going back and say, Yana Gegara, Yana Gegara. And then he'll give me all the information. This is JNB, this is what he's singing, this is the ragam. So the first ragam he would told me was this Todi. The next day he was listening to Kamboji. Todi. So that's when you realize that there were different ragams in music. And what he would do is, I would notice he would listen to a phrase. He will like it very much. He'll press the stop button, press rewind, press stop again and listen to the phrase again. Repeatedly he would listen to these phrases till he, he had memorized them almost. Next year when I came back for my holidays, I found that he had got a new tape recorder. So I was searching around to find out what happened to the old tape recorder. I found the rewind button broken. That's how often he used to listen to it. He was an expert on GNB and of course all Carnatic music. He exposed me very early to all these great uh, musicians, especially GNB's recordings. And then in Madras around 15-16, I started cataloging my father's old tape recordings. And I used to catalog especially GNB and I fell in love with the music. The first song I heard was Marakatavallim in Kamboji. And I had just learned that song from my grand aunt Rukmini Rajagopalan. And I heard this recording and I was stunned by that Marakatha Valim and I heard it multiple times. And uh, some of the Sangadis that he had sung, Pati had not taught me. So I memorized those Sangadis. So once I had gone to class and I sang Marakatha Valim and said, Na, GNB type get ya? Pudu Sangadi lam paadi indrika? Didna. But she was happy. Because GNB was as much her favorite musician as anybody else's in our family. And then I started singing concerts. When I was singing concerts, I would always try to sing certain ragams like GNB, certain phrases like GNB, certain compositions I learned from those recordings and I will immediately go and sing. Of course, you know, at that time we were one of those first generations that learned con songs from recordings and GNB's recordings were very, very valuable for me to pick up so many things. Like when I want to sing Bhairavi in the next concert, I would go to my uncle or some friend and then we would look at these different tapes. Bhairavi from the Thirnal Valley concert, Bhairavi from the Shanmuananda concert, Bhairavi from this Calcutta concert and then see where he has sung this phrase, that phrase, put it all together and come up with one Sanjay Bhairavi that has mostly GNB Bhairavis from all these places. That's how we landed on this formula of singing ragam. And there was once a concert I sang, I sang the ragam Andolika. Andolika is a GNB patent. You always followed that template. Tadarna, arna. This is the first phrase he would sing and I also promptly sang it. Next day I went to my guru's house, KSK Mama, I said, Hinda, Andolika Padanona, Andolika Nanchindi Padhe, GNB Nanchindi Adhika Andolika Padhe, Abdinna. That was an interesting point. That's when you realized you need not get bogged down. You just need to take those ideas, but develop on them and grow as musicians. These were learnings that you got. And then there was this very interesting man called Mr. Shivaram Krishna. He was a very good friend of uh, my uncle Ramesh and uh, he had a huge repository of music. He would collect everybody. He had all musicians, all compositions and in these days, you know, you have all these people with 5 TB hard disks, 10 TB hard disks and they know all these recordings which they have made. Those days, he had spool tapes. So he had this huge cupboards filled with spool tapes and you just had to go and say, Mama, the Parvata Rajakumari GNB Parikar, Kalyandra and the cupboard there, male and the moon are the tape, and the other So, another day you go and ask the hey, one of the Mohanam la Kadam Bari Trima, Dimber. You let the Mama Jean be Padaka, Pasanta Kumari, and the Batara, and the male are come, and he will give you that tape. And he was also a huge GNB fan. He would tell me, I have this recording, recording, and he would collect a lot of compositions and a lot of musicians and all that. So, one day I was sitting in his house, 
I was looking through his catalogs and I saw one composition. It said Manasurada Sama Kadambari, composition of GNB. Now I knew this song. My guru had taught this to me. And my guru had said nobody else knows this song because GNB gave it to him when he was in Calcutta. And I had sung this song and I don't recall anybody else singing. So I asked Sivanamakshan Mama, Mama, in the Sama Kadambari Potrike, then, hey, ni padinazam nan vichirken. On that note, see you soon.